just going to apologise uh, first to the guys sitting on the front row. I, I bought these sh trousers in China, and the, the fly's a bit broken, so I've got a bit of blue tech. <laughs> so it's, if it falls out, don't worry. But it's a cold night, so it's a bit of a ninny. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I was buying uh, Levi Denims, but it was actually Dennis's Lesbians, so <laughs> it's a bit awkward. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous and uh, I've got the shakes, but uh, I find that caffeine really helps me. But like, I tried to down a Red Bull just before, but it didn't really work. So I've got one of these little shots. They're really good, but what I, uh, what I find they're really great for is, um, if you just notice, if you hold it there, so it makes it feel a little bit bigger. So you can take a photo and show your mates and be just like, look how big that is. But the problem they're seeing is, look how big his hands are. <laughs> so what you can do is just you know, get a child's hand. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah think about it. Uh, I, uh, I really like fucking with people and uh, in particular I, I've been fucking with Christians quite a lot recently just because they take it so seriously and uh, one of the things I've been doing is I've been going into bookstores and just general places where they sell the Bible and just moving it to the science fiction area <laughs> just to look at their like facial expression when people come in and go what the fuck and I, and like, I also like print off a few extra pages and, and stick them in at the front I call it Noah's Lost Diary and uh, just off the top of my head I mean my favourite extract that I've added in is, is day 41 unicorns taste fucking delicious <laughs> like, but uh, the other thing I do as well is like, I dress up as Jesus I grow a beard and, and I dress up as Jesus and I go in and do book signings you get queues of people all coming to meet me, but yeah, it's good fun. I, 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 uh, I also like fucking with girls as well, and uh, like fucking girls too, but uh, the, uh, one of the things I, I do is um, when I'm trying to pick up girls, I like to sit in the park with, with a book, and then I just change the cover, and, uh, and I just sit in the park, and it's basically, I'll just show you. It says, living with a big penis, and I just sit there and read it, and then watch the girls as they walk past going, <laughs> Another thing I tried doing was uh, speed dating, and I, I did speed dating, but I, I didn't really work at first, so I tried like spicing up, and I, I thought I'd do speed dating on speed. <laughs> but the problem with that was that my questions were a little bit different from everyone else's. I was going, what do colours taste like? <laughs> and, like? And what would happen if you got two private detectives to follow each other? And like, do you know that the price of rupees have gone up? Which didn't really go down well. And uh, <laughs> the, the other one I tried as well was, do you ever stop a microwave at one second, just to feel like a bomb disposal person. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, I, I do have a girlfriend now, and um, there's a few things that she won't let me do, and, and then one of them, you, you, you understand why, is basically she won't let me do doggy style with her. And it, it sounds a bit weird now saying like that, but it's actually because if there's a mirror in front, it looks like she's got balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of true. But, uh, <laughs> Not that mine are really like, but yeah. <laughs> the other thing as well is um, she won't let me hold her hand because whenever I'm walking down the street with her, is what I'll do is I'll just kind of drop back a little bit and then just do this. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't really like that. Just, uh, it kind of makes me uh, look like I'm a spastic, obviously, and uh, she looks like my carer. So <laughs> people look at her as pretty weird. But uh, the other, uh, another thing I really want to try is uh, when we have our first kid, if we ever have a child, but um, when we have our first kid, when he's kind of four, take a photo and then do that age enhancement stuff and then put like a picture of him on the mantelpiece as like 25 years old and he'll grow up looking at that going, oh, someone in the family. And eventually when he's sort of like 15 or 16, he'll recognise himself and he'll be like, Dad. Who is that? I, I've always thought it was like a cousin of someone. It looks really like me and goes, son, you're actually a time traveller. <laughs> and you come back to warn us. Robots are going to attack. And John Connor, don't worry, it'll be all alright. <laughs> Little Terminator joke there. But, uh, but uh, there's, a, there's, um, there's a few other things that I, I like to do. And, uh, and it's actually um, it's something I've read in the news recently. Is uh, They've got this like scientist who's trying to figure out how like our mind works and how our mind picks up tastes and stuff. So like you know if you close your nose and you sound like that, you um you can't you can't taste stuff as well. But it works in reverse as well. So you can taste stuff without actually having to eat it. And this might sound a bit far fetched. And it's very scientific and there's some sort of like synapse that works. But basically the best way to do it is is to really basically show you guys 
So I, I need like a volunteer. So if anyone wants to like come up stage, no? I'm gonna pick on someone. <laughs> you just laugh, so that's you. <laughs> come on. Yeah, two rounds of applause. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to explain it to you guys and then I'll, I'll do it with him. What it is. No, I know. <laughs> Some of you went there, that's just wrong. Um, basically, what it is, is you, um, you get. You get you basically get blindfolded. So I'm, I've got a, a scarf here. I found it backstage. And um, it's perfectly fine, it's got not, not, not the lights or anything. Uh, um, and you. Once they're blindfolded. You get them to simulate eating or tasting something, and then they can basically taste it on their mouth. So, can you just blindfold you? you? Might need to take off your glasses. <coughs> yeah, that's one. <laughs> uh, it works best as well if there's less sort of blood being taken away, so if you just want to get on your knees as well. <laughs> it's also safer as well. Face the audience as well, so wait. And we're just going to try a few food, foods. Does anyone have any suggestions? Horseradish. That's, no, that's shit. Um, <laughs> well, the best one I think is actually like a really strong taste, like vinegar or salt. Everyone knows those. You can, you can even now, just thinking about it, you, can, you know what that taste is, right? So just... Do you want to simulate shaking salt in your tongue? <laughs> Can you taste it? Ah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Keep trying. Maybe try with both hands. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh well. Um, well, we'll just give it up for a, a round of applause for this guy. <laughs> I'll just leave you with one last one. The, the people that I like to fuck with most is actually um, police. And one thing I'd love to do with the police is uh, just phone them up and uh, just report a crime. And you'll understand what, you know, when you hear this. Is, um, do, does anyone know what the collective noun is for crows? Anyone? It's a murder. So you can just phone up the police and just be like, I've just seen a murder outside. And when they turn up, they'll be like, oh, where are they? You know, where, where's the body or anything? And she's like, oh, they, they left. Can you describe the perps? Yeah, they're all black. <laughs> the skinny legs, making some weird language I couldn't quite understand. Yeah, but uh, that's me for tonight, guys. Uh, thank you.